in walking yoga we have a spiritual walk we come here to the beach every Sunday morning at sunrise and when we come every morning at sunrise the you have this beautiful surrounding you have this glorious feeling of complete peace complete serenity you're looking out of the ocean you're walking along and you're walking yoga doing your upper body and lower body strengthening building and there is a certain calmness that comes inside the body now when you're actually grounding with the earth your red and white blood cells flow and when the red and white blood cells flow it creates a calming effect to the body it also builds the immune system so actually walking on the ground with your feet is fantastic signal is holding your arms out by the side to a T fashion and you're walking at the same time now when you're walking at the same time look down at your feet all ten toes are facing forward with all ten toes facing forward pushing the hips forward as well so you're leading with your hips and signal your arms are out by the side with your arms out by the side you're bringing your hands and arms in the front and the back in a circular motion sort of like a washing machine motion this washing machine motion builds strength in your arms and upper shoulders so you're breathing in and out for eight breaths. Nice, long, strong, deep breaths. Towards the end of the eight breaths, your arms are going to get heavy, and that's okay because you're building strength again. You want to build that bone density in the body. And then you just drop your arms down by the side when you're done. Wash your machine arms wavy wrist piano fingers and when you do the wavy wrist and piano fingers you do it for eight seven six five four three two one and there's a bit of crankiness in your hands and fingers because you're doing it for eight seconds and you're going oh god if you don't my hands and fingers are starting to get tired yes again you're building strength in your hands and in your fingers and in your wrist that's exactly what it is getting rid of that crankiness first thing in the morning now you're going to do walking yoga you're going to do this signal three times throughout the 45 minute period 45 minute is a good length and time because it tells your body you're being consistent and it also your heart is pumping you're not going fast in walking yoga you're doing a nice leisurely peaceful pace and it feels so good inside because you're just you're able to breathe in the beautiful surroundings all around you I mean I is this not beautiful or what right and we take you on our walking yoga tours to different locations this is one of my favorite in Indy Atlantic Beach now you're mindful of the hips walking forward when you walk with your hips forward it's very important because you're pushing your hips forward as you walk when you're pushing your hips forward you're leading with your hips instead of your chest instead of leading like this you're straightening up your alignment and leading forward pretty good huh it feels a little bit different but what you're doing is you're rotating this tailbone here this coccyx and rotating the pelvis forward by rotating the pelvis forward the hips realign with the spine it helps you to breathe much more easier you're opening up the vertebra by vertebra and it feels relieving if you're really hunched over like this and you straighten out your body it's going to feel something different a little uncomfortable if you're willing to open up the spine roll the shoulders back walk forward in your signal pose do this for five minutes do this for 15 minutes each day to get your body used to
from coming down here when you're walking to up here. You'll feel so much better. And what you're doing is basically you're opening up the vertebra of the spine to help your nerves that are going through the spine breathe much easier, which feed all the organs, which of course you're detoxifying the organs as you're walking along breathing in the diaphragmic breath. The diaphragmic breath is very important. Breathing in through the nose with the mouth closed, breathing out, pursing your lips. You're gonna do that while you're walking along. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, nose, mouth closed, in through the nose. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, pursing your lips. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now obviously breathing in that deep breath is going to be a little bit wobbly in the head when you first start a diaphragmic breath. So if there's a little bit of dizziness, just slow it down and breathe like you normally do and just walk like you normally do. One of the important things to do is 10 toes facing forward, hips forward. Breathing in and out through the nose, just very lightly. you're walking along and enjoying your beautiful ride, beautiful walk, you're starting to be aware of your surroundings, the sound of nature, the feeling of the earth beneath. Now I like to walk on the beach, I like as many times as I can come to the beach and ground with the earth. Of course in the park we're walking with our shoes on, right? Breathe in, breathe out. Be aware of your surroundings. When you're aware of your surroundings, you're, you're able to absorb nature in a beautiful way. Your mind is opening up to breath. And when your mind is opening up to breath, you're breathing in and you're feeding the basilar artery in the center of your brain. That is the largest artery. It feeds the cerebral arteries on both sides of the brain. And it also feeds, of course, the whole brain, but feeds into the frontal lobe area. The frontal lobe area is where your thinking power goes on, where you decide, okay, what should I do? How should I think? How should I view this certain situation? Should I get angry? Should I get excited? Or should I should just relax about it? Breathe in your own happiness. That's what walking yoga is about, tuning in your mind, body, and breath, which is the spirit, prana energy. Breathe in, elbows come together. Breathe out, bend forward. Ooh, that feels good, doesn't it? Feel that relief in the body. Place your hands on your thighs. You're stabilizing your body, making sure your 10 toes are facing forward too. Relax your head. Allow your chin to just drop into your chest. And the head to dangle here like a ripe piece of fruit. When you breathe in, you're taking a deep breath in, pushing air into the belly. And you'll notice the lower lumbar will fill up on the inhale. On the exhale, you bend forward a little bit more. When you come up, you breathe in, you bend the knees, coming up. I like to raise my hands to the sky. When I raise my hands to the sky, it feels so glorious. Hands up above the head. Slight back bend here. And then hands to heart. We close out. We close out with namaste, which means I honor the peace in you as well as the peace in myself. Namaste. Company. Thank you for your likes, your shares. Thank you especially for subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing us with your friends. Namaste.